Sega. A Game Gear Micro. The micro screen is not this big. It's not even this big, guys. And that's being generous. <laughs> it's not April the 1st, you can't get me. What, wait? For real, are you, are you serious? Who loves games? Yes, mate. What are Sega doing, guys? I've heard a lot of rumours over the last few weeks about is Sega going to pair up with a big console release with Microsoft for a new Xbox? I haven't really been following the news too closely, but today I read and see some articles regarding the Game Gear Micro. Um, not what I was expecting. So I don't think this works for a number of reasons. Now interestingly at the moment it's only saying that it's going to actually release to the Japanese market and it seems like some of the options like the bundle of all four of the consoles have actually sold out on pre-order already. But I don't think this is going to work so that there's four different consoles, four different colours and they've each got four different games on them which are quite varied and different. Um, I think the black version looks like the best selection of games. But also from a price point of view, like $50 equivalent, converted from yen, $50 for four little games on a handheld is kind of the opposite of what we wanted from a micro console to upscale a whole bunch of games to a television. Also, when we're talking about this, it is micro, like it is fit in the palm of your hand, tiny. Now I actually got my trusty tape measure here guys, because what I read in the article, um, I wanted to get a feel for the actual size of the screen. So, I don't know, norm normally on a handheld, like it was, if it was a DS or something, you'd probably expect, you'd probably expect a decent sized screen, which will probably be the majority of the length of your hand. But no, the micro screen is not this big, it is not this big. It's not even this big, guys. And that's being generous. A one inch screen. So one inch, to put this into some perspective, is a tiny little portion in the palm of your hand. This is kind of the length of the top part of my finger. Now I'm not being funny, but what are they thinking? Like this, this, this is the kind of thing that would clip onto a key ring. Would you really want $50 for a little key ring where you might be able to play a few games, but you actually you can't see them? Um, this is just ridiculous. I, I, I don't know why they're doing it. It seems to have some traction in Japan if the bundles are sold out. So some people are buying all four of them and then you get the bonus of like the screen magnifier that will clip on to probably make it look like twice the size, which is kind of a thing. Like I remember with the original Game Boy, you had the magnifier and light that clips over the top and kind of made it a lot more playable in different scenarios. But I genuinely, I genuinely thought this was a joke when I heard about it. And um, no, it seems to have hit quite a few big um, articles. So um, yeah, the... The Sega item that nobody wanted is going to be available in Japan only. Um, maybe there'll be something else to follow up with it for such a big Sega celebration. Um, come on Sega, you can do better. Yes mate.